Hello students, a very good morning to all of you. In FCSA Paranampit, we are not only teaching the subject oriented questions or subjects that are related to NEET, JE Advanced, JE Mains or GATE exams. Here, we are also teaching you how to live. How to live life is very important because everywhere in the environment, microorganisms are present. They are present in environment, they are present in a body. How many cells of a body we have, so many microbes are present inside us. There are nearly more than 500 species of bacteria alone are present in our mouth. So let us start this session with fungus. Why? Because all of you know that we are hearing about mucormycosis, that is black fungus. This infection is caused majority in the COVID patients after they are treated. After the treatment, when they get discharged from hospital, they are getting infected with this mucormycosis. This is nothing but a fungus. So today's class will be on fungus and its type. And in my next video, you are going to see with mucormycosis. Let me start and share my screen for one of the most amazing microorganism we can see in environment that is fungi. All of us know that bacteria, viruses, protozoans, majority they cause maximum diseases, but we are not aware that even fungus causes majority of diseases. That too, majority of fungal diseases are related to respiratory infections, respiratory problems, breathing problems. So let me start this session of fungi types of fungal diseases. Now, fungi are present everywhere. Sometimes they are too small to be seen with the naked eyes. They live everywhere. You can see the picture where it is shown indoors on surfaces in the air. Outdoors example in soil and on the plants as well on people's skin and inside the body. They are present everywhere how bacteria and viruses are present, protozoans are present. Now, what is this fungi is? Let us give a small introduction to fungi. Fungi are a group of living organisms which are classified on their own. Why they are classified on their own? Because they don't belong to animal kingdom, they don't belong to plant kingdom, they are nor they belong to bacteria. Unlike bacteria, which have simple prokaryotic cells, fungi have a complex eukaryotic cells similar to animals and plants. The very important, very, very important point of fungus is they reproduce by means of spores. This fungus is present in the environment in form of spores, which enter inside the human beings and infect them or cause disease for them. Fungi is usually classified into four divisions. The first one, chytri diomycota, that is chytrids. Second, zygomycota, that is bread molds. Third, ascomycota, that is yeast and sac fungi. And the last one, basidiomycota, that is clough fungi. Now, students, let us see some types of diseases, that is fungal diseases. The first one, aspergillosis. Aspergillosis is a disease caused by aspergillus a common mold, a type of fungus that lives everywhere in the environment. Most people daily, we breathe aspergillus spores every day without getting sick. But however, there is a very important condition. People with very weak immune system or a lung disease are at higher risk of developing health problems related to aspergillus. There are different types of aspergillosis. Some types are very mild, some types are very serious. Usually they cause fever, they cause cough, they cause cold, they even cause breathing problem. Such a dangerous disease is aspergillosis caused by one of the major fungus called aspergillus. Hence, the very important thing we have to see students is we have to keep our immune system very strong. Come on, let us see the second type of fungal disease. The second type is blastomycosis. Blastomycosis is an infection caused by a fungus called blastomyces. The fungus, as usual, it's present in all the environment, even particularly in moist soil, decomposing matters such as wood and leaves of the plants. 
people can get blastomycosis after again breathing in the fungal spores from air. Although most people who breathe in spores don't get sick, again, the same criteria, people with weak immune system, second thing, people who have less blood levels, they are going to be affected more with these funguses. What are the symptoms? Fever, cough, and the infection becomes serious if it is not treated. The third major fungal disease is candidiasis. It's an infection of mouth, throat, and esophagus. Candidiasis is a fungal infection caused by a yeast called as candida. Some species of candida can cause infection in people. The most common is candida albicans. They normally live on the skin and inside the body of a person. Where they live inside the body? Mouth, throat, gut and vagina without causing any problems. Whereas candida can cause infections if it grows out of control or it enters deep inside the body, that is bloodstream or in the internal organs of the body like kidney, heart or brain. Again, the main reason, less blood level or low blood composition in the body than weak immune system. The fourth very important fungal disease is cocci deoidomycosis. Cocci deoidomycosis is famously known as valley fever caused by the fungus cocci deoidis. The scientific name for valley fever is cocci deoidomycosis and it's also sometimes called San Jacquin valley fever a desert rheumatism. The term valley fever usually refers to cochideoidus infection in the lungs, but the infection can spread to other parts of the body in severe cases. People again get this valley fever by breathing in microscopic fungal spores from air. Majority, this disease is present in US, United States. Let us go to the next important fungal disease called histoplasmosis. Histoplasmosis is an infection caused by fungus called histoplasma. People can get histoplasmosis again by breathing inside the fungal spores from air. Although most people who breathe in spores don't get sick, but who do may have fever, cough and fatigue, that is weak immune system. Many people who get histoplasmosis will get better on their own without medication. But in some people, such as, as I said earlier, who have weak immune system, the infection becomes very severe. The sixth one we see, mycetoma. Mycetoma is a disease caused by not only fungus, this is also caused by bacteria, which is present especially in soil and water, apart from whole environment. These bacteria and fungi may enter the body through any lesion or a small infection on the skin of a, or especially on person's foot. The resulting infection causes usually painless, but formation of masses under the skin takes place. It finally affects the underlying bone. The mycetoma can be caused by bacteria named actinomycetoma and fungus named eumycetoma. Mycetoma can cause a severe physical disability that can force the people to stop working and cause stigma. The next very important fungal disease is pneumocystis. Students, all of you know that pneumonia is caused by bacteria as well as virus, but we, we are not aware that this is also caused by fungus. Pneumocystis pneumonia, it is a serious infection caused by the fungus pneumonia cystis gyrivicae. Actually, before this, scientists said that this is a protozoan, which is caused pneumonia, pneumocystis. But apparently, after a lot of research, and finally, scientists said that Pneumocystis, that is pneumocystis pneumonia, is caused by fungus, but not protozoans. Most people who get this disease have a medical condition, again, weak immune system that lowers the body's ability to fight the germs and sickness. The symptoms, fever, cough, difficulty in breathing, chest pain, chills, and fatigue. The very common disease of fungus is ringworm. Ringworm is a common skin infection caused by a fungus it's called ringworm because it causes a circular rash shaped like a ring, usually red and itchy. Anyone can get ringworm. The fungi that cause this infection can live on skin, surfaces, 
on household items such as clothing, towel, and bedding. Ringworm goes by with names, many names, tinea, dermatophytosis, depending on the location on the body it infects. Ringworm on the foot is called as athlete's foot. It's a very dangerous disease. If we are hygienic, we are following proper hygienic conditions, no one will get this fungus. Then we have another important fungus called uh, fungal disease called sporotrichosis. This is commonly known as rose gardener's disease because it, this fungus is present in the thorns and the stem of the rose flower. It's an infection caused by fungus called sporothrix. This fungus lives throughout the world in soil and on plant matter such as sphagnum moss, rose bushes, and hay. People get sporotrichosis by coming in contact with fungal spores in the environment. It causes lesions in hand, arm, and foot. It's a subcutaneous nodules may ulcerate and discharge pus if injury caused by thorns of the rose. Finally, we are here with a very, very important and a dangerous fungal disease called mucormycosis. This is also called as black fungus. It's a life-threatening infection, result in blindness followed by death. It also affects to the brain directly. Mucormycosis, previously called as zygomycosis, is a serious but rare fungal infection caused by a group of moles called mucormycetes. These moles live throughout the environment Mucormycosis mainly affects people who have health problems. Uh, they take the medicines that lower the body's ability to fight germs and sickness or weak immune system. It is most commonly affect the sinuses or the lungs after inhaling the fungal spores from air. It can also occur on the skin after a cut, burn or other type of skin injury. It's very dangerous, students. These are very few important fungal diseases which I want all of you to make aware of this. In my next video, we are going to discuss in detail about mucormycosis and why it is called as black fungus. Thank you for now.